Okay guys, so we're gonna continue to use that base of cauliflower rice that we made and seasoned with just garlic powder, onion powder, salt, and oregano. And I'm gonna make it into like a warmer version of a plant-based recipe that you can use either as a side or like a base of your meal or as your whole meal itself. Okay, so we've got the cauliflower rice in the pan. It's just organic vegetable broth, low sodium. So I'm gonna put a little bit across, just enough to cover the base of the pan. And then the magic ingredient is organic diced tomatoes. You can use ones that are seasoned a little bit more. You can use stewed tomatoes, jarred tomatoes, whichever you want. I just get these in a 12 pack at Costco and I always have them in my pantry. We are gonna season it all back up. Garlic, onion, and oregano. So I just really, I hope you guys see how simple it is to use like the same ingredients in slightly different ways to make amazing recipes that look really enticing for you to eat. So I'm gonna let that um, come to a simmer and sit for a little bit. This is just half of an organic zucchini and I'm cutting it super finely or dicing it super finely because the cauliflower is fine and small. And I just felt like because I already used part of the cauliflower in our other recipe that it needed, maybe I'll just use this whole thing. Um, it just needed a little bit more bulk because of the amount of vegetable stock I put in. So all you really need is some veggies and the broth and then the tomatoes, the seasonings, and you can add or take away whatever else. So I'm gonna add the zucchini in now and let it keep cooking. Okay, so you can see it's simmering. You can see the oregano. It smells amazing. It looks really good. So um, we'll take this out and then finish the plating. I did a quick chop on some mixed greens. They're my power greens that I use in my smoothies, but because they're a little bit bigger leaves, I just chopped them really quickly and then added parsley on top. And I'm not even gonna stir it in because I'm just gonna let the steam sort of melt the greens. I don't want them to overcook. Okay, so, and the way that it all comes together is with a little bit of vegan feta. So I'm gonna put some in here like this. And then what I would do is, you could also just put this right in the pan and let it melt into the whole thing. Oh my gosh. Yum. This one always reminds me of like a Christmas recipe, like how much more red and green can you get? Amazing. So simple, really similar ingredients to the other recipe and delish. So eat it just like this as a veggie soup, as a side, or add your proteins, whatever you guys like. Just see how easy it is to make awesome recipes out of a simple bag of frozen cauliflower rice. I hope you guys really enjoyed this recipe. Make sure that you try it, take a picture, tag me on your Instagrams or anywhere that you're posting. And remember that all of my recipes are completely safe to help you create the healthiest body you love, whether you want to release symptoms or lose weight or just feel better in your life. I'll see you next time.